Well, at the beginning of the pandemic, many health officials urged women to delay their routine mammograms. As a result, screenings were down by 86 to 94 percent in March compared to previous years. That is according to the medical technology company Hologic. Well, now that healthcare facilities are reopening their doors, it's time to get back on track. We are joined by Grammy award-winning artist and breast cancer survivor Cheryl Crow and OBGYN Dr. DeCarla Albright to talk all about why women need to prioritize their annual mammograms. Good morning to you both. So great to have you on uh, this morning. Cheryl, let's start with you. You are a breast cancer survivor. Can you tell us a bit about your experience and why you're just so passionate about women taking care of their breast health? Well, I was diagnosed in 2006 with a routine mammogram and uh, my cancer was detected very early stage, which made it a stage one. I was asked to come back in six months because something seemed a little awry and I didn't wait. And I think um, my story is one of early detection and not waiting. And my message now, obviously, during this really stressful time and a time when we were trying to kind of stay away from each other, is to remind women that even though this is going on, it's important to take care of our own health. We're coming up to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I'm just encouraging women to go to backtoscreening.com to set up a reminder to get your annual mammogram because it's just really important um, to not wait. We can't take care of the people that we love unless we take care of ourselves. So go to backtoscreening.com, set up your reminder, and you might be one of the 10 lucky people to uh, be chosen to be a part of a virtual concert I'm going to be doing in October. Uh, I want to get a little bit more on that in a minute. Um, Dr. Albright, I want to bring you in here. For, for women who are nervous to go back into a doctor's office and get their mammograms, any message to them? Absolutely. I want people to feel reassured that it's safe to go back in and get their screening. Most radiology centers are um, wearing, everyone's wearing masks to protect the patient and the staff. And they're padding appointments so that patients don't have to really uh, come in contact with one another going in and out of the visit, as well as waiting rooms are uh, set up with social distancing rules applied. So the patient should feel really comfortable going ahead and rescheduling their mammogram. And we heard Cheryl's story. Is this the key to, to beating breast cancer early detection? Absolutely. I'm a strong believer that early detection saves lives. And unfortunately, you know, we have been shut down due to the pandemic. But as soon as a patient can reschedule her mammo, I think it's important because in the, un the unfortunate case, if, they, if she has a cancer, then it can be detected earlier and therefore be more easily treatable. Uh, Cheryl, can you tell us a bit more now about this concert and this opportunity uh, to see you perform? Well, it is really strange to be a musician who goes out <laughs> and plays music for people in a live setting in order to make that connection and to hopefully take people away for a little while, to be stuck in your house with no way to reach people. So with the wonder of technology um, and through cyberspace, we're able to bring music to people virtually. So we are um, going to offer up to 10 people who go to the back to uh, back to screening dot com uh, to sign up and be one of the lucky winners to watch me perform live at home. Maybe in my pajamas. Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I want to uh, switch gears and talk a little bit about a little bit more about music. Uh, former President Obama just put out his 2020 summer playlist and you're on it. All I want to do. Uh, curious about your reaction. Is that the song you would have picked? Well, I mean, if you're going to pick a summer song, I would say it was either that one, a Sheryl Crow summer song. It would either be that one or Soak Up the Sun. And there is something strangely undeniable about all I want to do when it comes on the radio, when it comes on the speakers, that low end thump, it does make you want to get up and get moving. And I think 
during this time, isn't that what we all need? We need something to sort of put a little lift in our step because life is definitely unusual. Um, it's much more calculated. It's not nearly as spontaneous. So it's nice to have music that lifts us up. And I'm definitely flattered that President Obama has me on his playlist. Um, I know you also revamped your Woman in the White House video. Uh, Joe Biden has now picked Kamala Harris as his VP. Um, any thoughts? I'm delighted. Um, she's fully capable. She's um, inspiring. She's articulate. She's definitely qualified. And um, I think it's, it is time. I mean, it's incredible. When I grew up, I can remember Golda Meir and Margaret Thatcher and women who are leading countries. And we seem to be so behind the times. And um, so this is a really great moment. Um, I'm hoping to see her go on to become president at some point. Um, it is just such an incredible time. And, and one more question. I know we've all had so much downtime um, during this pandemic. Anything that you have been streaming? Oh, my goodness. I mean, I am embarrassed to say that <laughs> my kids have discovered The Simpsons. And so we are at like season 21 now out of 31. So we, um, as a family, have been binge watching, although I do have to be a little bit of the police because it's a little more on the adult side um, than most kids' cartoons. Uh, the Simpsons is a good one. I actually have not, I haven't really seen too many episodes of The, of the Simpsons. Maybe it's uh, something to watch. Um, I want to thank you both so much, uh, Grammy Award-winning artist Cheryl Crow and leading OBGYN doctor DeCarla Albright, a really important message about breast cancer screenings. Thank you both so much for coming on.